Well, hello again from Kingston. It's been a really good week here. There have been moments, but a great deal has been achieved. And it's become a game of two halves with uh, a lot of work going on at either end of the bridge and quite a bit in the middle. Follow along with the update, and you'll see what I mean. Thanks for watching. I thought that it would be good this week to begin with a general view of the bridge on a very misty Tuesday morning. Stick around until the end when I'll give you another look at the bridge with a week's work complete. But meanwhile, let's see what Black and MacDonald have been doing this week. Before the temporary wooden poles could be lifted out, several lamp arms had to be removed. With this task complete, it was time to advance the gripper, secure fastenings around the 55-foot pole, and in a very controlled fashion, shake it, lift it, and finally lay it down for transport away. As the week went on, attention would turn to installing the new permanent light fixtures along Gore Road. Several had been installed by Friday afternoon. Since we're already looking that way, let's see what happened on the abutments this week. There's been a steady effort to build up the infill on the east abutment with gravel arriving quite regularly. Tuesday saw some muted excitement when a large blue pipe, which has been present for some time, was carefully moved down into the space. and followed up with some very precise measurements. Over a couple of days, work continued to consolidate a large rectangular vault. And all the while, work continued to pack the abutment with gravel. As the week drew to a close, connecting pipes could be seen in place. On the west side, after considerable preparation, the concrete was poured on the barrier wall and the surrounds to the first expansion joint. Overall, the west end has become a very busy place. Hydro excavation is playing an almost daily part in locating and confirming the run of utilities. There's a steady build-up of equipment from bar construction, but all the time, space is at a premium. Early trenching work to install drainage involved the removal of a fence and a constant departure of spoil. In the course of the week, substantial progress was made in several areas. As early as Wednesday, some pipes could already be seen in place, undergoing compaction. By Thursday, attention had already turned to preparing the route of the multi-use pathway that will lead to Montreal Street. And by Friday, it was possible to release one of two excavators that had been operating on site and have it taken away. Back on the east side, 
a lot of preparatory work by Tomlinson's capable team, allowed Sousa Ready Mix to return to frame up and eventually pour concrete sidewalks. As always, there's a considerable amount of hand finishing involved. A great deal was achieved this week, but there will be more next week. Here's how things looked going into this weekend. I promise to come back and take an overall look at the bridge before we go to wildlife. So here it is. This is looking to the east and I think you'll agree things are looking pretty good. The cabin you see sits astride span 8 and concrete has already been poured just beyond that on span 9. Beyond that again reinforcing rod which is both very demanding and time consuming to lay has reached span 15. This is span 6 ahead and the presence of an expansion joint suggests that this will be one of the next things to receive concrete. And now, wildlife. Well, there you have it. That's another week gone by and uh, quite a bit of progress made. Please consider subscribing to make sure that you see these updates if you enjoy them. If you don't, click subscribe twice. See you next week. Bye for now.